Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at the construction that started around here for phase two of the Beacon of Hope capital campaign and in particular we're going to be looking at the learning commons uh, and we'll go downstairs where our middle school is and take a look down there but I wanted to start up here and I'm in the gathering space and ran into Father Stephen. Hello Father Stephen. Hello and I think it must be opposite day today because you have your, you're, you're like me, like I usually have my collar done, and I've got the Father Jeff look of the collar undone, so. Yeah, you're relaxed. Like, yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's Trying like, to, to unwind. You're not so tight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Something so, like that. Yeah, I don't know. The, uh, I usually do it because it's comfortable and I sweat all the time. So anyway, um, but good to see you. Good to see yeah, you, too. As always. Good to see you all. Well, yeah. you know, good, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Uh, <laughs> that part's going to get cut, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought we'd start up here. This is the hallway to the left of the main church. I wanted to come by here because uh, you can see the church out there, actually. We go by. In the cryer room, they've been doing some things. They've got to create some new duct work for uh, heating, air conditioning, and ventilation. And I thought I'd show you that. But because I'm in a construction area, I get to put on my construction hat. <laughs> Uh, down on the floor, they've cut through all the concrete and the holes. There it is. You might be able to see the classroom below. They're, they're putting two uh, ducts in here to get to the, not ducts, not quack quack, but ducts in here to get to the roof so they can put new uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning units on the roof that'll help feed those classrooms. So I haven't been down here since uh, before they started. They started yesterday and it's actually kind of dark in here. Uh, some of the electricity has been cut. Oh, that gets really dark. You, you can start to see even on the ceiling here, the reflections. Tiles have been taken down um, and we'll enter the commons area. This will be our new learning commons. We're very excited about it. So it's gonna be different than just a traditional library. It's gonna have a lot of multimedia capacities and a lot of data capacity. This so center section here, where we have like that, that poster up there, that will be the exterior of the learning commons. And so all this area will have uh, books and tables and computers, the ductwork that they're preparing to put up here. Um, they've already got it out. And I just realized I'm probably not supposed to be in here, um, but I am the pastor, so I don't think anyone will throw me out. Um, but, they, but they're gonna be putting all that together and then starting the construction here uh, for the learning commons. It'll be very exciting. It'll be all glass walled uh, and we'll, we'll, won't take up all the, the whole space, but uh, we'll provide plenty of space for small groups, for classes, for others to come together and to be able to engage in a really dynamic learning model uh, through the new facility and the new space that we'll have. So last week I was in Mrs. Klosterman's room and you got to see a lot of the artwork that was here. This, this is a space they're using to store much of the ceiling and the light fixtures and things that they've taken down out front. They're working a little bit up there on some pipes and other things uh, in the ceiling. And then I'll show you the next room. So I can't turn the lights on here, so I'm kind of standing next to the window. Uh, this is Mrs. McDonald's classroom. They've taken the whole ceiling down in here as well. And this is the room that's below the, the space up above that I showed you. Um, you can kind of see the, the difference in here. If this was your classroom, they've moved all the desks over to the side. And then the entire ceiling uh, up there has been removed. Pretty kind of cool to, to see the construction process in process. So we did get the disappointing and heartbreaking news that we wouldn't be returning to the classrooms this year. Um, we are gonna continue distance learning and I'm thankful to all the teachers and families and parents and everybody, you that are making such an effort to make that distance learning worthwhile. I am sorry that I won't be able to see you again in the classrooms or in the school this year. Know that you do remain in my prayers and in my thoughts every day and that I, I care deeply about you and hope you all are staying healthy and safe. It is a high priority for us to have uh, a recognition, to honor and to recognize 
our eighth graders who will be graduating from St. Patrick and to be able to do that in a way that's very special for them, even though it's gonna be very different than what we would be able to do if we could all gather in person. And I am very proud of our eighth graders and all that they've been able to do and especially what they've been able to do being in the middle of a crisis. And so know again of my love and my prayers for you. I know that uh, God is with us in the midst of everything. May God be with you in your homes, in your hearts, and know that he loves you. St. Patrick, pray for us.